My name is Koichi Tsuchiya. Uh, I'm a director of a research center for strategic materials in NIMS. And in my center, uh, we uh, study about how to reduce the rare earth and rare metal elements in uh, structural materials and functional materials. In Japan, we don't have much uh, natural resources about the rare metals or rare earth, so it is very important to develop new materials with a minimum use of those precious elements or critical metals. For example, let's try to find a diffusion coefficient for a titanium molybdenum alloy. To do that, first we go to this periodical uh, table search and uh, click on the elements you want to look for, so titanium and uh, molybdenum, then choose this system here. Then we can type in the, the keywords for the properties, so in this case it's diffusion, then click on go. Then on the first line we can find this diffusion of impurities in solid metallic elements. Then we just click on this title. So what we get here is a PDF file containing the data we want. So this is for alpha titanium and the diffusion coefficient for beryllium manganese, iron cobalt. So we look for molybdenum. So if we know these parameters, we can calculate, for example, what kind of a, a temperature and the time we have to do a heat treatment to obtain a very uniform distribution of molybdenum in the titanium matrix. To work on some, uh, for example, uh, developing new materials, we have to first what we have to do is a uh, uh, literature, literature survey. Uh, we have to go in through many, many thousands of paper to find uh, one particular material's property parameter. It takes lots of time and it's very tedious uh, job. Uh, this database is very useful to find the uh, uh, materials uh, properties or different kinds of properties uh, without. Uh, doing uh, many uh, tedious literature survey. As I mentioned, uh, this database is the uh, oldest and also the uh, uh, largest uh, material science database. Uh, this kind of database is becoming increasingly important uh, to design new materials and uh, they often call it materials informatics.